Kuingereko ni kwamba serikali imehimizwa kutenga fedha zaidi kwa baraza la kitaifa la watu walio na ulemavu ili kuhakikisha maslahi yao yanashughulikiwa kikamilifu. Wadau kutoka mashirika na taasisi mbalimbali walisema ukosefu wa fedha za kutosha umelemaza miradi mingi inayolenga kuboresha maisha ya watu walio na ulemavu. Walisema hayo jijini Nairobi wakati wa uzinduzi wa mkakati wa miaka mitano wa baraza hilo katika kipindi cha mwaka 2023 hadi mwaka 2027. Wito kwa serikali wa kutenga fedha zaidi kwa hazina ya watu leo na ulemavu ulisheheni wakati wa uzinduzi wa mkakati wa baraza la kitaifa na watu walio na ulemavu wa kipindi cha mwaka 2023-2027 jijini Nairobi the government of Kenya must put serious budgeting allocation and we are in the process of listening and undergoing the budget policy cycle now this is the time the gap that has been there we an increment to what they are using as their funding so that they achieve their passion, their focus, their dreams and their objectives. Kwa mujibu wa mkurugenzi mkuu wa baraza hilo Harun Hassan, mipango muhimu ya kubadilisha maisha ya watu walio na ulemavu haijatekelezwa kutokana na uhaba wa pesa. We have decentralized the disability medical assessment verification process from Nairobi to the counties. We have entered into partnership that have made it possible to provide education scholarship as well as assistive devices against the budgetary challenges. We've embarked last week on the process of decentralizing the provision of therapy services for persons with autism and developmental disabilities at the county health facilities. We've generated the first four major evidence-based research report in the council. Now we look the part, but I would want still insist that our representation our inclusion is only token. It is not substantive. We now must move from quantitative representation to qualitative inclusion. That is the call that we want to make today. Akizungumza katika kikao hicho katibu wa masuala ya jamii Joseph Motari alihimiza bunge kupitisha mswada wa jamii ambao tayari umeidhinishwa na baraza la mawaziri akisema utashughulikia masuala yaliyoibuliwa kuhusu watu walio na ulemavu. At the ministry we continue to support the council both in terms of enhancing its programs and ensuring that the necessary policies and legislation that promote disability inclusion are in place. I also note that this would be well supported if Persons with Disabilities Act 2003 was amended to conform with the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The 12th Parliament worked with it until they went away and left it there. Now we are in the 13th parliament. Are we going to walk until the parliament is over in 2027 and leave it there? Timothy Kipnosu, Kurunzi Mashinani.